Mastering the Art of Polite Interruptions in Conversations Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our series on Conversational English. Today, we're going to delve into an essential skill in maintaining smooth and respectful dialogues, and that is polite interruptions. In this specific lesson, we will be focusing on verbal and nonverbal cues for interruptions. So, let's dive right in and equip ourselves with some tools for tactful interruptions. When we talk about interruptions, it can seem a bit rude. But it's essential to understand that interruptions in conversations are not always impolite. Sometimes, you might need to interject to ask for clarification, contribute a relevant point, or steer the conversation in a different direction. The key here is knowing how to do it politely and using the appropriate cues. Verbal cues are the words or phrases we use to signal our intent to speak. Let's look at some common examples. Excuse me, may I interrupt for a moment? Sorry to butt in, but if I could just say something, remember, these phrases should be delivered in a friendly and respectful tone. Tone is as important as the words themselves. If you sound aggressive or annoyed, it will not matter how polite your words are. Nonverbal cues can be as impactful as verbal ones. Here's what to keep in mind. Eye contact. Make eye contact to signal you would like to speak. Hand gestures. A small raise of the hand can also signal your intent to interject. Facial expression. A look of confusion or excitement can prompt the speaker to pause and let you speak. Body language. Leaning slightly forward can show your eagerness to contribute to the conversation. Always remember, the goal of these cues is to signal your intent to speak without disrespecting or undermining the current speaker. Successful polite interruptions usually involve a combination of both verbal and nonverbal cues. For example, you might raise your hand slightly, nonverbal cue, make eye contact with the speaker, and then say, excuse me, verbal cue, when the speaker acknowledges you. This combination sends a clear message that you respect the speaker and the conversation. And there you have it. We hope this lesson on polite interruptions, focusing on verbal and nonverbal cues, has equipped you with the tools to interject effectively and respectfully in conversations. Remember, the goal is always to maintain a positive and respectful dialogue, even when you need to interrupt. Keep practicing these cues, and soon, they will become a natural part of your conversational skills. Happy learning, and see you in the next lesson.